tonight it looks like we're gonna get both the dungeons and the dragons. Why? Because it is Wednesday, which means tonight is our Dragon Spire Peak game, continuing where we left off last time. So, hey, if you like Dungeons and Dragons as much as I do, and other role playing games for that matter, stick around. My name is Gregory, this is 1 in 20 D&D, and this is my daily vlog, d and Daily, where I talk about all kinds of RPG goodness. And you know, I was thinking to myself today, hmm, you know, what should I talk about on the vlog today? What's on my mind? What do I want to share with you all? And it occurred to me that thus far, I haven't really looked very much into the namesake of the game, you know, the, the Dungeons and the Dragons. And you know, this is kind of a daunting and important topic, subject, so let's call this part one of our discussion of the dragons of Dungeons and Dragons. And I'll talk more about dungeons another time because today I really felt like I wanted to like spend a little time focusing on the dragon part of Dungeons and Dragons. And why is that? Well, tonight, we're gonna start off where we left off last time, which I was starting to say is that we are about to go down this dark and uh, unknown spiraling staircase into the bowels of what the players know to be a dragon barrow. Uh, the characters have no idea, they just think it's some mysterious, uh, you know, hole in the ground, burial mound kind of thing, and they're all the curious heroic type, thus we find ourselves in this situation. So when we start the game tonight, again, I hope you'll join us tonight, 6.30 Eastern, or sorry, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern this evening. We're gonna be venturing into the dark. And it occurred to me when I, when I started thinking about like, wow, yeah, I haven't talked at all about dragons. Let me get a little bit into that and what I think is so amazing about dragons. I mean, there's so much to discuss on the subject of dragons, especially in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. But I really feel like one of the most quintessential and fundamentally interesting aspects of dragons is the fact that, at least mechanically speaking, in 5e, and really going back through all of the editions, they're structured, they're structured in such a way mechanically that you can pretty much encounter a dragon at every tier of play. That is to say, like, you're just as likely at first level to encounter a dragon as you are at 20th level, and they can be either completely overwhelming or just a good, formidable threat at all of those levels. That's the reality. It's it's true that probably at, at first level, when you very first start out, even a youngling, even like a, a hatchling dragon is probably going to be a heck of a challenge. And, you know, it could be fun to play out, of course, but yeah, that might be a pretty big threat still. And here we are, we've just achieved level four, and we have had an encounter with this white dragon that's terrorizing the countryside, and it was, it didn't go very well, to say the least. It knocked out, it wiped out two of us, uh, knocked us unconscious with one shot of its breath weapon, and then fortunately for us, flew off because it uh, wasn't very interested in us. But, you know, that could have gone a whole lot worse. Like, like much, much horribly more worse. And thank goodness it didn't. And, but, but regardless, dragons are sort of a threat at any level of play. And I think that's part of the cool thing about it. And then uh, when you add on to that, the fact that you have the full spectrum of, if we want to call them personality or for sure alignment, but you know, not everyone likes to use alignment, but with dragons, you get the full spectrum of like 
the ones that are helpful all the way to the ones that are terrorizing and you get the ones that are you know uh, greedy and egocentric all the way to the ones that are benevolent and are really genuinely trying to help the other lesser beings. I think that's probably true on, for all dragons is they probably look at us mere mortals, the humans and the other, uh, other, let's see, the other races of man. Can we call it that? I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but the, the you know, the humans, the elves, the dwarves, the, you know, dragonborn and halflings and tieflings and all these other half elves, half orcs and everything in between. I think the dragons sort of look at us, or I say us, but you know, that's because we as the player characters, that's the char those are the races we play. So they, I think dragons look at the player character races as lesser races. I mean, dragons live for thousands of years, not, not hundreds, thousands of years. And even elves, on some level uh, have a limited lifespan when it comes to dragons. Like, I would imagine, like, it's conceivable that you could encounter an ancient dragon that was like 10 or 12,000 years old, had seen, a, had slept for a thousand years or more, you know, collecting its strength and recuperating from whatever it had done previously or something like hibernating for that long. I mean, there's so many amazing ways to weave the lore, the legendary, the amazingness, the awe that they inspire into this game that it absolutely warrants a good amount of time reading and exploring and uh, playing around with this great race of worm. I think they're incredible. They make the most amazing allies and they also make the most amazing you know enemies and that's po that's possibly probably ultimately why Gary Gygax gave it this name from the beginning you know dungeons and dragons it sort of wraps up what this game is all about in a phrase I can't wait to see what happens tonight when we go down into this dungeon and hopefully we don't encounter the dragon for a little while longer. We need to be a little bit stronger, I think. Tune in tonight to find out. I'll see you tomorrow here on the vlog. And in the meantime, keep rolling 20s. And always remember, it's your game. Play your way. So let's call this part one of the dragons of Dungeons and Dragons. No, that's terrible. <laughs> I'll talk more about drug... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah.